And their FMB record scored up there. And again, Japan versus Thailand. Round one about to go underway. Joel Bowen in charge of the action. And again, a big shout out to our sponsors. Moving big in four points by Sheraton for supporting the sport. Ooh, look at this, a little showmanship What's by Takoro. He's having fun. Monkey style. Takoro-san. Again, getting his Ali footwork on. Yeah, he's having a good time out there. And look at the Muay Chai, yeah. Again, not Muay Thai. He's switching up Ong Bak. Real life Ong Bak, Tony Ja movie going on here in Phuket, Thailand. He's got the biggest smile on his face. Having fun in the, in the most awesome dojo on the planet. You know, I like to see that. I like to see guys coming out here, not taking it Confidence. too seriously. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, yeah. Having fun. Letting it all hang out. Putting the fun into fighting. That's what we <laughs> do here at FMD. FMD 2, protect your neck. Live in the Pearl of the Andaman, Phuket, Thailand. Nice little body lock going on. Tokuro, again, uh, Japanese jiu-jitsu, a little bit of BJJ, and a whole lot of judo. And okay. he is locked up right now as the Muay Chai fighter, Petsin Korn, lays elbows to the body. Ooh. And we are in full scramble mode. What is that? He's going to get going for an inverted triangle. Are you kidding yeah, me? Yeah, he is. He's got the legs tightened up. Oh, he just needs to lock the... Oh, he doesn't have the arm anymore. But you can see the face of... Yeah, he's probably... Dechidin, who need to, needs to change up his neck position. Dechidin is going, what the hell are you trying to do to me? Lays into the ribs, bringing Ooh. the knees up. Remember, going to the head is fine here in the most awesome dojo on the planet. I bet you to land down some nice ground power. Steps over. There's a nice little scramble here by the Japanese and Thai fighter laying the Veritex gloves. Soccer kicked Ooh. aloud and oh. again. He needs to control him, you know? You can't just let somebody punch him, kick him in the head like that. He and, needs to uh, go back to guard and, and close the distance. And Dechidin might need to jai yin yin, as they say. Yeah. Calm it down. Don't want him to lose his gas tank. Very fit guys here in these lower weight classes, but he is throwing it all. And, oh, and Takuro still having fun. Yeah, he is. Stick it up there. <laughs> this guy's he, he, he's crazy. He's <laughs> Look at the face he's making, yes. John. Are you kidding me? I'm, I'm, I'm enthralled. <laughs> I think it's a great time. Oh, my God. The atmosphere is picked up, and it's quite electric here. You punch a guy in the face As 30 times, and then he on. dances in front of you. <laughs> Showmanship oh coming my. from our Japanese opponent. You can see he definitely wants to play the jiu-jitsu. Yes. Um, and the TIE fighter is just happy to punch him in the face. I'm not sure how much uh, groundwork... Petsinkorn has under his belt at this time. Okay. Um, again, you can see him still standing in the Moi Chaya positioning as he comes in and attacks. And he comes with those the Moi Chaya kick as well. It's uh, it's slapping over from the side. There you go. Mm -hmm. Tries to catch him with the back chin. Comes in with the flying knee. Well, body lock goes into play, and we are back to the ground. Ooh. Elbow, short elbow. And the Japanese fighter ends up on top. Let's see if he can keep it. We know he wants to, oh, he could be set up with a leg lock right now. He could be falling back for a leg lock. The Japanese fighter. Correct. See how he's grabbing the left leg right there? Yes. And if he gets position, he could fall back for a leg. I don't know how good or if he knows his ankle locks, but uh, now he let it go. And still one leg in on the tie fighter, but he, Japanese fighter now lands some fair attack gloves as he gets full mount. Him out. So now we got to see if the TIE fighter uh, knows any jiu-jitsu to see if he can get back to guard, which is a safety position. Well, at, least he's, at least he's trying to escape through the back door, but Takoro, oh. Japanese fighter, grabbing the arm. I don't know what happened right there. I don't know what happened there either, actually. Oh, a nice cut. He's checking ah. the cut. That's what it was. Didn't exactly see when it happened. And he does not care. <laughs> this kid doesn't no. care. But he we likes do not it. want any injuries. We're sponsored by a hospital, so. <laughs> you know? The doctors will come up and check, but yes, Takoro. Takoro son, unabashed. Un <laughs> you know, having a good time. I love this guy's energy. So do I, man. He's a, he's a fun character right now. Look at him. Putting the fun back into fighting. Wow. Cool. Exactly. He said, my my yeah, yeah. <laughs> no problem. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Don't 
don't worry about it. He's yelling. It's good. Uh, great to see you again. The smiles. Excellent show. We go back to it. Ooh. Oh, Chaya coming in. Coming in with the kicks. Oh, Pitching Corn landing some big uh, kicks to the Silverplex. Yeah, crowd loving it. Again, grinding now up against the cage, Takuro. Some big knees coming up from the Muay Chai yeah, fighter. Nice knees. So it's good to put on a show, but we got to fight too. Yes, exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're correct. And showmanship can burn gas tanks. Yeah, definitely. I mean, guys at this weight, you don't see them get too tired that often. But, you know, when you're yelling around and dancing around, yep. it's uh, some wasted fuel. We'll go to the replays, BK, but uh, give us your impression of what we're seeing here. You know, we've kind of got the striker versus the grappler. I mean, that's really what we got going on. Yep. You know what I mean? The puncher versus the uh, submission guy, I think. And uh, top position, ground and pound. I think that's, you know, was the basically what happened in this first fight. Or excuse me, the first round. Well, we saw the damage there happen to Takoro, but as we go into round two, he's still strutting it up. Yeah, he's Last happy, but... Sportsmanship buddy. shown, and again, a big shout out to our sponsors. Ooh, nice little leg kick there. Yeah. And he throws these kicks uh, definitely different than uh, the traditional Muay Thai fighters. Again, he's trying to connect you with the backside of the shin, almost like he's trying to mm -hmm. go through the bag. And I've seen this a little bit. The, the style in this, is this the same as like the the Thai military does? Yes, it is. And uh, again, the old great Tony Ja from Ong Bak. Okay. He gets down with it as well. Um, I don't... I think it's great for self-defense. I think it's great for uh, actual martial arts, um, for competitive MMA. It yeah. might not be the same as what you could do with a, with a big, just regular Muay Thai low kick. You know what I mean? It seems a bit slower. It seems a bit slower. I, I mean, I don't know, but... Uh, we're not experts, but again, we're in the land of Muay Thai, mm -hmm. so we're going to see a lot of different variations here as uh, Full Metal Dojo tries to grow MMA in Southeast Asia, around the globe, and into the universe. And the Japanese fighter has moved his way into the top full mount position. Yes, and let's see again if he goes for these submissions, as you're talking about. Right now, he's content to lay that He's got right it locked hand. up nice. He always got his legs. Uh, they're actually, he's got his ankles crossed. This is, like, the tightest mount you can have. Oh, he let it go. He let it go. Oh, no, he still got them crossed. Yeah, and this is putting pressure on your low back at the same time. It's not a fun mount. Okay, now, now he let it go, and now he's just in a typical high mount. Either way, not fun. And now he's laying elbows of his own. Must be trying to get, pay back that cut. Pay back those stitches. Yeah. He's had confidence from the very beginning. He needs to hold this back position. He's going for the neck, and he needs to hold the position before he goes for the submission. Oh, there you go. Give the, give the line again. Yeah, it's position before submission. Body lock, though. Yeah. Oh, is... You can't go for the neck when you don't have control of the back. He's going for, like, a reverse uh, triangle. Yeah, possibly, as he brings the arm across. Oh, the now he out. switches now he it back it. into the traditional triangle, and he actually could finish the fight right here. It could be over. Rabbit punches. Not All he's got to do anymore. is really pull the head down, get that arm across a little bit, get a little bit of an angle on it. That's not what you want to do, is end up in a full mount with the triangle. Okay. That's exactly what you don't want to do. <laughs> wow, nice job. Confidence all the way. Yeah. BK, as we go into the replay, Takoro-san gets the W. As I say quite often, no losers here in the dojo, but we got to raise the hand of a winner. Takuro-san, right there into the... Excellent triangle choke. Beautiful, you know, from the top mount position. You know, some inexperience uh, from the TIE fighter in the submission defense department. Live and learn. But excellent fight. Nice cut for here. Nice fight. 